It's that time again for one of those highly anticipated team matches, and it doesn't get any bigger with this one. It's Modoc and Above the Line. There's not really any stipulation here. I've made the stipulation that the winner should get a t-shirt design, but, you know, not like that's ever going to happen. But, yeah, this is definitely one of the more highly anticipated team matches and matches overall of Season 5 so far. So let's just kick back and enjoy a Coke. And let's enjoy this thing now on JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Smodown. Out of time, so say goodbye. What is yours, now is mine. And I dream broken dreams, I'll make them come true. Okay, so without further ado, let's do this in three, two, one. Hey, partner. Hey, partner. Oh, How are you? hey, partners. How are you? Hey, good, Shire good. Wolves. So hey, Rachel. Hey, Clark. I, something's sort of been weighing on my mind. What's up? Um, you guys have been so supportive about this whole number one contender spot thing. Um, but Unfortunately, not everybody on Facebook has, and first. shame on them. You know... I, I want to do this, but at the same time, like, I feel like maybe should we save this for us? Like, should we save this for our team, for the Shire Wolves? Or, or do you want this spot? Because, like, I feel like if anything... Hey, partner, let me stop you right there. Seriously, Shire Wolves, we've got this. We can play our way to the top. I have every confidence we can do that. Just like I have every confidence in you taking this number one contender shot. I had my shot. I'll make my way back up again. But this is your time. You have earned this just as much as any of the other top ten players. I am so happy that Emma offered it to you. I'm going to be there right by your side, and you're going to get that belt. I promise. That's really nice. I know. Partners. We're partners in this. Okay. You got this. All right. Go get the belt. They still should play within the faction to guarantee a title match. I it boggles my mind why they don't just do that. It's logical. It makes logical sense. We're trying to give back to the fans. Go and check it out right there. If you want to support the Schmodown by becoming a patron today, go ahead and do it. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've given us. Two other players within the faction that are in the top ten. Take advantage of it. Go do it. It's a good match. Yes, sir. Oh, that match made me sad, though. Oh, maybe even more sad. They still, and they're still showing it. I actually just watched that match about 30 minutes ago. Dumb, 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 and dumber. Although, I will say, Modoc had the Patriots more on the ropes than Above the Line did. Which is saying something, considering that the Above the Line match was high scoring and highly competitive and insane. the exact same score too I just realized that 33-32 either way not the not not the points there today and we came as close but yes when it's out but it's out and you guys I would say are definitely not done in the team league here at the movie trivia showdown we're just going to let the Patriots hang on to those belts a little while longer yes Modoc will be back those American pig dogs don't even know what's about to hit them this was all Boom. part of plot. All them. part of plan. All part of plot. We will come back. It will be a long game we are playing. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. I mean, I think that anybody who saw that match today cannot possibly doubt that there is a very good chance that somewhere down the line we could have the opportunity to take on the Patriots again. I love the gray eyebrow. I can't do that. I can't do it. This is a really scary match. Like, it's really scary to even have to try to predict it. Fortunately, I had to because, you know, the, the summit put a, put a gun to my head and we, we had to. Um, but it, it's not going to surprise me if Modoc wins. It's not. Not at all. I, I just have to go based on what in the hell are they wearing? Don't ask, don't tell. Don't ask, don't tell. Hello, oh, oh, it's Back to the Future. It took me a while to figure it out. Gray is Doc Brown. Baby carrots Ellis sitting next to me is a man who knows STP needs it so badly in his heart. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Knapsack joining me here. You're a little late, the the, the STP 500 was last week. Of course, by the time you recorded that, I guess it was probably that week. A good job, Mark. Who's married? That's it. That's how you do it. Pretty funny. Pretty but good, good to be here for a matchup. big matchup. I actually do enjoy working yeah. with you. Oh, well, thank you very much. We've been doing this for 90 years now, and it's not a minor league. 90 game. years? A movie trivia show. Reminds me. And you look at the team My whiteboard's way over here. Today. It's going to be an exciting thing, something exciting for all the fans out there, all the new Patreon tiers that are already Ready available. Thank you all of our new Yay! Thank you all of our new Yay. the Schmodown Patreon and following us on our official Twitter feed, at the Schmodown Ken Knapsack. Modoc is trying to go up against above the line, the win or gets a little something special that would be a shot at the title oh the a shot at the, the title one i want to hear t-shirt design we want shirts we want shirts unbiased viewer of this match i of course am affiliated with the greatest tag team champions of all time even better than demolition and new day it is oh come on now where's the road warriors i am a professional if not where, where's where's edging christian where where's the rock and sock <laughs> connection <laughs> i think everybody okay. gets that for free in your daily life that's right you do but this is a big matchup i love this phrase I use it a lot. shirts titans of the game these are two teams made of four competitors who know this game inside and out they've had successes they've had big failures which means that might drive them to the next level i think that we've all had failures in life to happen i've had more though people reaching for the stars you mentioned reaching for the stars you mentioned success and failure in the middle ground is when you get so close to success and then you just get it snatched away from you at the last minute that has happened to both these teams at the hands of the it's, evil patriots that's a tough thing it's like my sex life 25 to 38 it's just almost there but not quite almost and so there. you sometimes have to you know you reach for those stars and like like you said and and i i want to see this is a test of that in intestinal fortitude which sounds like something that an hmo doctor would uh, fail to recognize but uh, i think this is what this is what today is about i am a ppo man myself yeah. pay for my own health insurance enjoy doing so with modoc you have a team that got so close to beating the patriots they took them right down to the wire it appeared in that contest that he hadn't off. done his due diligence in watching schmodown's past to really study how the game is played but you know him and gray drake if nothing else they're always going to have a pleasant introduction can they live up to that intro with their play here today Look, let, let me let me let me confess something to you there i've been playing in the schmodown since 2000 2014 never once watched a match don't know this guy dale the dude one time introduced himself to me i was like i don't good good for you hope you enjoyed the trip i don't know what's going on i go out there and compete and that's what actually he does i don't care if he sometimes i love his russian accent by the way i'm russian it sounded good so i don't i don't <laughs> hold that against him and i don't think uh you should look you know i know you are but i don't think one other teams... could argue that part of competing in the schmodown is studying your game tape and certainly above the line has done that drew mcweeny sam levine is probably watching it backstage right now and by the way sam levine for all of the hard work he's put in he's got a single title right now if they win today he could be potentially owning both belts if they win the number one contender match here today and then they move on to defeat the patriots that is an accomplishment and i uh, if that happens and i know sam 
Sometimes he's got this, ah, oh, I'm the champ. Whoa, I, you know, don't, come on, don't praise me. He's a killer. He knows he's a killer, and he's going to tap into that one day. So Sam oh, stop showing that. He's killed 11 people the last two. He backed over with his car by accident this morning. We move on to the pre game total interviews. Here they are. Ultimately, facing the Patriots is why I'm here again this season. I, I wanted to take this team all the way to the finish line. And I, I feel like if we don't do that, then we haven't done what we set out to do as a team. Oh, oh Doc, that defeat against... Chris Scott that Martin. Was gonna, uh, that was, it was tough. It was tough. tough. It was tough. Uh, I would use the time machine and go back and tell ourselves not to stay in character. Anyone who's watched the <laughs> Mohawk match yeah. knows they are no pushovers. They know their stuff. They are here to play. They are very, very knowledgeable people. Uh, it's not my call as to whether or not they're in the tournament. I probably would have had him in there. But do I think had they been in there, they would have just been another stepping stone for above the line? Yes, yes, I do. Sam and Drew, uh, they're really good. They're really good. Yes. But, but I think they have more overlapping. I think their knowledge is in the same areas where we offset each other really well. Uh, and uh, let's face it, we're more fun. I don't Unfortunately, think that doesn't work very well in round one. We both kind of need to know everything up, what, in round six, one. Three or four matches yeah, before that. The and every one of those was yeah. make or break in that tournament. Yeah. We had to win four matches in a row. And then, and I mean, this is, I, I do not want to take away anything from Modoc, but I have watched that match where they went to sudden death with Patriots. The Patriots were not in top form that day. We think that above the line has had it easy because they haven't played us. So ah. since every champion has had to go through us, mm -hmm. they're not really champions until they face us. So if we lose, it just cements, yeah, sure, they're champions. And if we <laughs> win, they don't deserve to be champions. Pass under the curtain of booze to defeat us. Modoc, you guys are great. You're smart. You're funny. You're knowledgeable. But you are standing in the way of destiny, and uh, I'm sorry. The road ends for you today. We're going to go back in time yeah. and keep your parents from getting together. You won't even be born. You know what? It's not like a Zemeckis movie. It's like a Spielberg movie, and it's Jaws, bitches. I mean, you look at that. There is a lot of confidence here. Brimming and Modoc, clearly, they are ready to get this match going. In character, I think, would be an understatement for that team. Uh, you, you know, but that's uh, sometimes, you know, I, I used to do uh, crazy make em up improv sketch. Wonder what the strength will be for Modoc being in character. View that's different than yours. Dot, dot, dot. That might help to you. a fault. They might come in with a different approach. It's not Gray and Matt, it's whoever they are. And that's an interesting wrinkle to what they do. Yes, and, and then above the line, confident as always. I mean, you have a powerhouse like Drew McQueenie teaming up with, as we said, the singles championship. Uh, winner Sam Levine, they don't look like this is even a competition for them, but I think it's going to be uh, coming down to the wire here, Kenny. No, this is going to be a epic main event quality match. Well, let's go to the story of the tape. Oh, the tale of the tape. Let's start with Modoc. Their strengths include rom-coms, costumes, accents, like of all Costumes, sets, accents. It's the movies, second strength now? Man, they've really, gotten, they've really gotten they've really gotten good at the costumes and accents. You know, Drew McWinney, this is a guy Speed he's round. Oh, oh you, you gotta say uh, that. So got Oscars classics. Uh, so does Drew. Scores and soundtracks, and they're both great in the speed round. In a game that is known for deep cut questions and five pointers, OJ's a serial in the might be the deepest we have ever gone. My ears are bleeding, and to get back to the surface, I will get the bends in my bloodstream. We are about to start the movie trivia showdown. You guys can follow along at our official Twitter account at the Schmodown. Uh, Ken, I have a question. Yes, sir. Look it up here. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Oh yes! Then let's get ready to Schmodown. Yay! The floor is yours, good sir. Here you go. Introducing first. To a finish. Introducing first. With a record of five wins and three defeats, they are the 2015 Ultimate Schmodown semifinalists and the number two contenders, the Kahuna, Mac, Achity, and Frey, the, the Great Frank T. Smoda! Oh! Great Scott Back to the future. Matt Ashley and Marty McFly. Great, great. They befuddled Doc Brown. I like this a lot. 
I like that. It's funny. I don't think he naturally had to go buy that outfit. I think no. I think he's had it. I think Anthony. he's had it. Though. Oh, and Zach, can we hear a little bit of your Marty McFly and your Doc Brown? Maddie, give it to him. I don't know, Doc. This is heavy. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. I, I give that a solid eight out of ten, and I would take both of them to the fish under I'd the sea. I'd give it a dance. solid C plus because I give everything a C plus. Enchantment under the sea. Enchantment under the sea. One point for action. Thank you. Seen it. Ding. Good news. Don't have sex with your mom. <laughs> And their opponents, <laughs> with a record of four wins and one defeat, they are the 2017 Baby Faces of the Year. The 2017 now this sounds like something Ashley would come out to. And the 2017 Ultimate Showdown winners, The Godfather, Drew McWeenie, and the Rainy. Movie Trivia Schmodown Singles Champion of the World! The glorious one, Sam Levine! You notice though, let's just see they dressed for the occasion. Customary suits, blazers, jackets, they've come kind of low profile. I wonder what that means. Yeah. Maybe they're in downright hoodies. Laid back. They don't dress nice. There like this. We're getting the hoodies and not the full dress up for a bubble. We'll, we'll suit up when we get our title shots. Yeah. We're, uh, okay. Right, well. we're, we're back in Rocky Three training mode right now. There you go. It is a title shot that is on the line here today, and your rules in round one competitors, particularly you, Mr. Atchity, are as follows. In round one, you're going to hear eight questions from eight different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing but in you might round get laughed one. At. Once you hear the question, please write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard in front of you. You have around 15 seconds to write down your answer. Once we say pens down, please stop writing. When we ask you individually to show us your answer, please show the whiteboard to our cameras. At the same time, you verbalize it into the microphone presented in front of you, plugged in courtesy of our friends at Radio Shack. Keep in mind, you do Radio have Shack. JTE rules. Three of them are able to be used. That is, if you need to hear a question again, or you just want to stall for some time, ask us to repeat the question. Each team also has one challenge, should you feel a question was answered inaccurately, or anything goes down that you want reviewed. Moda, are you ready to play? You bet. <laughs> yes. All right. They're ready to go in any decade we see fit, whether it's 55, 85, or 2015, or the Old West. Above the line, are you ready to go? Absolutely. I just want to uh, thank the good people over at Nickelodeon's Mutton Stuff for providing me with this wonderful hoodie. Uh, it's a fine children's program, and I was honored to be on it. Yes, we are ready. If God is my witness, I thought you said Muffin Stuff. <laughs> I right. said children's program. <laughs> children. It just gets dirty and dirtier. Sam Levine, of course, from the hit show Even Stevens. Let's get ready to <laughs> schmo down. It's time to schmo down. Yay! There we go. <laughs> Ken Knapsack will be administering the first question. Ken, what's our category opening up today? All right. First of eight questions comes in the category of animated. Animated. Yeah. Which 2002 Disney film is a science fiction adaptation of a classic Robert Louis Stevenson novel and features the voice cast? of Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Emma Thompson, and Martin Short. The legendary Martin Short, one of my heroes. One of the, would you say the best uh, late night talk show guest of all time? Uh, Charles, Gro Gro Charles Grodin is that. Wow, yeah. five, four, three, Don, Don, Don Williams, Don two, Don Rickles, one, Bob Newhart, and pens down, Matt Ashley, you're up first. Treasure Planet. Give him a point. Uh, That's right. Dang it. That's correct. I guessed it's Titan AE. Yeah. <laughs> Doc Brown is incorrect. In 1999, I auditioned thrice for this movie, <laughs> Treasure Planet. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, well, boy. that means he cheated. Ball, Sam, but maybe you can win here today and get some measure of revenge on Mr. Lewis Stevenson. Your next question comes from the world of comedies. These are movies. That are funny. What actress Sometimes. played a sexually aggressive dentist in the comedy Horrible Bosses? Ken Knapp's like the worst uh, boss you've ever had. Let's take the last, I don't know, 10 years of your life out oh, of the Oh, uh, myself, currently freelance. <laughs> You're not good with taxes. <laughs> Boy. 
Three, that would two, be and one. Jennifer Aniston. Answer, starting with Drew. Uh, that would be Jennifer Aniston. That is correct. Great. I already said Always that, Drew. Team Jennifer Aniston. That is correct, Sam. Uh, Co-written by my dear friend Jonathan Francis Daly. That would be <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Uh, and actually, <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. That is correct. Four, three, ball game. Four, three, and ball game. Ken, I've never seen more booze for someone who just wants to let everybody know he's well liked in Hollywood. I have a lot of very <laughs> successful friends. <laughs> And a Canadian golfer. Uh, <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> Question three comes to the category of 80s movie. 80s movies. Who Wait, plays what? Detective Billy Rosewood in the 1984 movie Beverly Hills Cop? Maybe, uh, maybe my, my favorite uh, movie with the word cop in it. Although I did like Let's Be Cops Famous mm. movie. Five. Nobody else did. Four. Except three. Josh Bakuga. Two the only one. and one. He doesn't count. Look at Francis starting with Gray Drake. I just erased my answer. I didn't have time to rewrite it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, That's a no. Uh, Sam. Send in the Judge Reinhold. That's right. Oh, shit. Matt Ashley. I rewrote and got Judge Ryan. I didn't get the hold. Okay. We can't, can't accept that. Point. Can't accept that. Can't accept that. Can't Need a hold. That. Really? Yeah. Needed, needed, a needed a hold. Needed a hold. Sorry. Uh, Judge uh, Reinhold. Reinhold right oh. over above the line. So it is 6-3. Some fumbles there. See if that point is going to cost Modoc here in the long run. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Just ask John Rocco about that whiteboard. All right. Your uh. next category oh, is in the world it. of mm, horror mm, mm, thrillers. Mm. Horror thrillers. And your question is, what is the name of the club the group of friends call themselves in the 2017 hit movie It? Wouldn't know that answer. I haven't. Uh, I'm still scared of the movie. If you watch Schmodown, you might know this. About a month and a half after it came out, but yeah. I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a really good movie. Yeah, good I villain. Losers. Five, five, four, three, two, and one. Hence down, we go to the well liked in Hollywood Sam Levine. The answer is James Fonda. <laughs> <laughs> a great reference, but we cannot I award a point for that. Sorry, that is uh, clearly said. not quite legible enough. We no go to for Matt Atchity. Do Atchity. you have it? The Losers Club. It is that the is Losers correct. Club for one point. Drew McQueen. I thought it would be the Losers Club. That is correct. Great. The Losers Club. All right, so. Uh, they're, Should they're I challenge <laughs> that? It's clear. <laughs> Fine, I'll let it go. Modoc, hang it in there. Are you calling Jane Fonda a loser, my friend? Modoc, <laughs> hang it in there. Yes, uh, and I will agree, Matt Atchity, even if he had written it legibly, Jane Fonda was not the name of the club that the group of friends <laughs> called themselves in the movie It. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question five. Question five comes in the category of action adventure. Action adventure. Aaron Paul stars in which 2014 racing film? Jesus. Uh, how many speeding tickets have you got? Oh, boy. Um, none in the last uh, five years. Um, Zero for me. I rectified my driving ability. I think this is right. Years. I think this is 2014. Five, one of those, uh, four, Saul and three, Paul moments. two, one. Looking Speed for answers racer. starting with Matt Ashley. Need for speed. That I didn't speed correct. rhyme, so I get extra oh. points. Very right? fast I like answer. It. Need for speed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'm wrong. I forgot the name of it, so I said driving like a bus. I mean, he was, but wrong. <laughs> Sam. I got the need. The need to speed. That is correct. All right. So top gun. Never mind. Getting the speed race must have been early in that. Speed. And Nine we have six. a three-point game has been opened up here with above the line in the lead as we move on to our sixth question in round one. That is in the world of six. family films. The whole family can find these mildly amusing. Your question Sometimes. is, who portrayed George in the 1997 live-action adaptation of George of the Jungle? Crowd not liking that. They have determined themselves that it's easy. Uh, George in a fight huh. against oh, well. Andrew Lincoln. Oh, definitely not that, George. Uh, five. Four, go Tarzan all day. Three, Brendan two, Fraser. And one. Look for answers. Start with Drew. Uh, that would be Brendan Fraser. That is correct for ten points. Drew, uh, Greg. Brendan Fraser. That is correct. Times with Razor. Brendan Fraser. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Brendan Fraser. Fraser. All right. Clean sweep across the board for everyone there. It is still eleven and eight above the line. Seventh question. Seventh question in the category of fantasy sci-fi. A young man must stop the Lord of Darkness from both destroying daylight and marrying the woman he loves in what? 80s fantasy film. Man, you think destroying daylight would have been enough? Yeah. If, and then on top of it, taking away his lady. Yeah. Come on. If they didn't say 80s, I would have answered the graduate. 
That's a fair point. Simon and Garfunkel. Three, two, Let's just and go Labyrinth. Hands down. Look for answers starting with Ray. I panicked. Labyrinth? Uh, nope, nope, nope. You remind me of the man. What man? Not the right answer, Sam. I made the same mistake. Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, Oh, who also Cruise. has successful friends in Hollywood? Maybe it's Doc Brown. <laughs> that I'm gonna say the movie that gave us Tom Cruise in armor with no pants. That's legend. right, legend indeed. That's what true. I was thinking of. Legend. Hey, that is correct. Okay. Still in. All right. Final Three one. Of this round. Oh, one more. I jumped the gun. Our last question in round one is a Patreon question. This comes from a loyal patron of the Schmodown. The young person's name is Abdullah Al Shirawi. Thank you, Abdullah, for supporting the show. And in the category that you wanted the question in, movie release dates. <gasps> I'm a big fan of you. Patreon and enjoy the tears. This could be you one day. Well denied here. Close around. Sam's pretty confident in this final question. And Abdullah asks, the following three comic book films all came out in 2008. You need to list them in the order that they were released. From earliest to latest. I rescind my being a big fan of this guy. <laughs> the movies are The Dark Knight, Iron Man, and The Incredible Hulk. We'll give you a little more time to write down these answers. Again, you need to get them in the order that they were released from earliest to latest in the year of 2008. 2008. What was your cholesterol count in 2008? Uh, I think it was a four or a five. Mine was abnormally high. Oh, wow. I have a good cholesterol. I have, I have the bad cholesterol. <laughs> I got all the good ones. I got the upside, you got the downside. All right. Um, I know give them two of them are in the right order. Here as we count down from five. I'm going to say Iron Man, Dark Knight, Three, Incredible Hulk. Two and yeah. one. All right. And we're going to go pens down. Pens down. And down. And same with Sam. We are starting with Sam. Okay. One is Hulk. Two is Iron Man. Three is Dark Knight. That is uh, incorrect. Uh, incorrect. Actually, Matt Ash. Iron Man, Dark Knight, Incredible Hulk. Incorrect. incorrect. No. Oh, man. It's Iron Man, the Incredible Hulk, the Dark Knight. That's correct. Drew That's the boy. Great drink. Uh, nope, she got it wrong, too, as well. She got it wrong, too. It's a tough one. Great question. Yeah. Abdullah, thank you for supporting the patient. New Iron Man was uh, first. one person getting that, and it gives above the line a little bit more of a cushion going into round two. It is now 13 to 9, four-point lead for ATL. Best teammate right. I've ever had. Right. Was that well, the eighth question? <laughs> that is the eighth and final that question. That would be a perfect round for Drew, I believe. Woo! Oh, nice. It is a perfect round for Drew McWeeny. Thank you to Sam Levine for knowing that. Oh, yeah, Probably I wasn't going to forget that. One of his absolute <laughs> friends at some fancy Hollywood Hills party told Sam Levine, then he just told us. So now Drew McWeeny is going to get he's got a, a lot of Hollywood friends to know that. Because he got a perfect round one. Your bonus question, sir, is what 1998 comedy takes place at a graduation party and starred Jennifer Love Hewitt, Ethan Embry, Seth Green, and Lauren Ambrose. Can't hardly wait. That's That's one correct. point. That's correct. And now it's a five-point lead right. going into round two. The perfect round pays it's off for Drew McKinney. Damn it, I Can love we this give man. him an extra bonus point if he names the, the band that wrote that song and sang that song? No? <laughs> yeah, I can. No. That would be Love Burger. <laughs> no replacements. <laughs> Paul Westerberg. All right. The I win this round. That was Steel Burgers. And will above <laughs> the line be the replacements for Team Patriots at the top of the heap? Oh. Well, they can win this match, and then they will face the Patriots, but still have two more rounds to go with Modoc fighting at their heels. In round two, it is known as the wheel round. Oh, yeah. The rules in round two are as follows. Did Each someone team get a Patreon is wedge get for this six one? questions from I mean, one of the categories on the wheel of destiny. You spin the wheel. If you don't like the category, because on my Patreon wedge, they actually put both these teams spin. on here, but they didn't like take that it. So. Too bad. That's what you're stuck with. Six questions. Each question is worth two points. There again, there's no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round two. If you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us for multiple choice, which point we'll give you four selections, one of which is the correct answer. Then the value of the question goes down to one point. Remember your JTE rules, remember your challenges, and remember the Titans. One of those slices is a sponsored Patreon slice oh. from one of our patron supporters, and that is the slice of classics. Somebody wanted classics you piece of shit. Oh, that explains why they didn't take mine, because somebody had already got classics, and We have a classic game in the works here, Ken. That's all right. Go I'm going to get mine for Stacy Howard in RD3. To be continued, you'll find out what it is. Modoc, you're up. Who would you like to have spin? All right. 
Right. Sometimes oh. I like that. You, you, there's different ways of putting the pressure on your opponent. Get it, Matty. They don't have a good round two. All of a sudden, above the line Narrow is just chilling in a hammock Narrow. with a margarita. Narrow. Round one, Streep. They're begging for Streep. They're not going to get it. It could be a pwn my horse cam. That is. Classics. Do you want to keep that slice? Matt Atchie and Greg they've seen a lot of uh -oh. movies. A lot of classic movies come in their way. Is that what they want? <laughs> All right, they're going to go again. They're going to go again. Hey, you know. Patreon slice. Oh, poor you Patreon have to do person. Sometimes what your opponent feels comfortable with or your, your teammate. Oh, they, he ain't going to uh, stick around. But again, they could spin classics now, then they're going to be stuck with Hope you don't get spinner's choice. You'll have to look at it again. Way. We might have classics again, Ken. Oh. It just slipped over there, and I'm happy to say that Scott Curtis is Get our one. patron. Scott Curtis is the member. Good of for you, Scott Curtis. Wanted that slice on the wheel. I'm not sure if Scott I was hoping Modoc gets it. Modoc was hoping they didn't get it. They ended up spinning it, Ken, and you have those questions for them right now. I do, I do. You're going to get six questions in this round from this category. For everybody counting at home, that's four more questions than Ken currently has Butterfingers available on our desk. I asked for four. I only got two. <laughs> you can't always get Butter what you fingers want. are good. Try sometimes to get the diabetes you need. All right. Great Scott, Ken. That's a lot of Butterfingers. First question. Don't make it heavy. Who directed the following classic films? The Philadelphia Story, A Star is Born, and My Fair Lady. Scott Brown, the elder, just came into the young high school. Oh, yeah. We're going to need a... To a count in five, four, three. We're going to go with George Cukor. That's correct for two points. Oh. George Cukor, the famed director. They got it right. They're within a point. Uh, excuse right. me. They're within three points of above Trusted the line. Trusted Gray on that one, and it worked. All right. Your second question in this round is, which Akira Kurosawa film predominantly follows two peasants on an adventure? That would be Hidden Fortress. That's correct. Matt Atchity. Or is also one. Also known as Star Wars Episode 3.5. <laughs> Third question out of six. That's a In good one. White Christmas, who sings, if you're worried and you can't sleep, count your blessings instead of sheep? <laughs> Can we get uh, multiple choice, please? Yes, you may. A, Bing Crosby. B, Danny Kaye. C, Fred Astaire, D, Bob Hope. Danny Kay. That's incorrect. Chance for a steal from above the line. Uh, Fred Astaire. Can you repeat the choices, please? Uh, yes. Above the line, just waking up in round two. A, Bing Crosby. B, Danny Kay. C, Fred Astaire, D, Bob Hope. Let's go with A. Bing Crosby is correct. That's one point. Ooh. Of steel. Ah. He was dreaming of a white Christmas, Ken, and above the line now has a two-point gash. Plenty of questions left for Modoc in round two. All right. <laughs> this will be your fourth in this round. Who played Victor Laszlo in 1943's Casablanca? Maddie speaks for me. Go ahead. All right. I need an answer. Peter Lorre. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Above the line for a steal. Paul Hendricks? That is incorrect. Uh, Paul Henry. Oh. oh, okay. Paul Henry, oh. he was not a guitar wielding Roca enthusiast. Roca is furious right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Fifth question in this round. Fifth question. How many times did Claude Rains play the role of Jack Griffin, the Invisible Man? Three. Gonna need an answer. Uh, I'm gonna say three. That is incorrect for the steal above the line. It must be two. Gonna need an answer in five. We'll oh. go with twice. That is incorrect. Only once. Ooh. Oh, oh. once. Bit of a uh, Tom Forey trick question he by is, the Slowdown uh, Riders. I, 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 uh, clarification. He played two more times. Just no one saw him. Okay. Let's see what he did there. Can we give no him a half a point for that? Trying to get. I might add that in in pencil and paper later. All right. Your <laughs> final question in this round of classics. Final question. The song Moon River was.
was written for what? Audrey Hepburn movie. Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's right. And I said, said, what about Breakfast at Tiffany's? Tiffany's? She said, I think I oh, remember the film. I yes, I remember. Mr. Anya, you're not going to knock out. Definitely don't have the right. <laughs> they get a category. If Bubba Long gets a category, they might. Oh, boy. Have, have, <laughs> it is a tied ball game. Is that correct? I have 15 15. Oh. We move on in round two here and above the line. Well, you know, Modoc, they got some questions right above the line with enough of a steal to at least maintain a tie. They have a spin mm. left. Which member of your team would enjoy spinning the wheel of fate? The man with the magic arm, Mr. Drew McQueenie. <laughs> Drew McQueenie confidently strolls up. Right. It's a good one. To the wheel. All the brashness and boldness in the world. At his fingertips. That is a good Nobody spin. spins it like you, Drew. Nobody. Powerful Woo! spin. The spin is in. The spin is in. It's like Ernie Ells. He can't even see how hard he's working to That's spin right. that. It's just a just a warm maple syrup like kind a, of spin. The Drew Will Clark has. swing in 1989. Mm, mm, mm. Butter. Well, exciting. And it's going to land. Oh, jeez. They're keeping it, Ken. Did I say Knock the out. man had a Game golden over. arm? Thanks for coming. Or did I say the man had a golden arm? Who's coming to Vegas with me? All right. <laughs> Drew Can we get a mulligan on their spin? Fire up the DeLorean. <laughs> We're about to be out of here. An opponent's spin. A nice, clever usage of the rules. Matt Ashley has been watching the Schmodowns. However, it is 80s movies for Above the Line, a category they're very excited about. Your first question of six. What was the first movie to pair Tom Hanks and Sally Field as co-stars? That would be Punchline. They got the movie that is so accurate to the real world of stand-up comedy. <laughs> John Goodman is the stay-at-home husband who just hates it. His wife gets out at night. And a young DJ Tanner, Candace Cameron, plays Hallie Field's daughter. And we move on with no additional <laughs> points awarded. Two-point lead in your next question in round two, the world of 80s movies. In 1983's A Christmas Story, what is the major award that the dad received? Yeah, it's the yeah, yeah. the plug-in leg lamp. That's correct. Yeah. Give him two points. Give him two points, and I think that that one really hurt Modoc. I think they knew it's that Italian. answer as well. Could have been a steal. <laughs> Frigida. Frigida. Yeah. Frigida. 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 All right, so now we move on to your third question uh, in the 1980s films. Who plays Ariel's best friend, Rusty, in 1984's Footloose? Just go to Drew. He'll give you everything. Do something you know offhand. I don't know. Just want to dance. Go to five, four, three. Can you repeat the question? Certainly can do that. Drew knows it. He just who plays Ariel? Just making sure. Best friend Rusty in 1984's Footloose. And once again, we'll go to our. I'm gonna say Chris Ben. That is incorrect. Ooh, ooh. Two-point swing here, Ken. This could be huge. This could be very big. Do you need an answer in Can five? Can we get multiple choice? Can Four. I? You, you Wait, cannot. Go ahead. Three, two, Go ahead. What do you mean? one. Uh, Kevin Bacon. That is incorrect. Looking for Sarah Jessica Parker. It was Sarah oh. Bata, Frank. Jessica that. Parker. That was a, a <laughs> big miss for uh, I, I above the line because they are putting the pressure on the neck of Modoc here. Uh, but they have more in this round. And a big miss for Modoc as well. Could have really yeah. closed things up here. But we still Enough have three with the guilt trip, Ellis. Come on. <laughs> Your next question in the world of 1980s movies. Stay home and talk movies. to my wife for that. In Blade Runner. <laughs> Which replicant does Deckard retire first? We're looking for the name. We need the first name of the replicant. Leon. That is incorrect. incorrect. We go to Modoc. For the steal. The dancer one. What, I don't remember her name, though. Can we get multiple choice? You certainly yes. cannot. Alice. Five. <laughs> Four, and Vera, three, Alicia. You need a final answer. Gray Drake. It's not Pris. Can, I, can I answer it without the uh, without getting points? Sure, sure. Zora. There That's you go. Correct, but no points. Zora. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you All are right. right, Matt Ashton. <laughs> no <laughs> points are awarded. It is now a four-point game, and we have two questions left. If Modak happened to steal these, we'd be tied to the end, or yeah. above the line could really put the heat on for a technical knockout if we get to round three, which we will. Your question: What '80s crime comedy? Stars John Candy, Eugene Levy, 
Robert Loja, and Meg Ryan. That would be armed and dangerous. Two points for above the line. Ouch. Love that movie. Now a six point and literally one and a half members of our crowd pulling for above the line. Seems like Modoc has won favor, but with only one question left in round two, their, stand, their chances to steal dwindling. Your last question in round two. Which actor played Sean Astin's brother Brand in The Goonies? Uh, would that be Josh Brolin? That's it would be boys. Josh <laughs> Brolin, <laughs> and it would be yeah. an eight-point lead going Ooh. into round three, so above the line. Ooh. Drew McQueeny, uh, Sam Levine dubbed him the man with a golden arm. He certainly spun that with a category of 80s. They did very well. But Modoc, they have a puncher's chance here. They're going to be answering their slate of question uh, predominantly first as we get to round three. Round three. Not looking is too give us a good. Of three numbers. They range from one to 20. They're going to correspond to three different movie categories up here. Your first question is going to be worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. The last question you receive is worth five points. Keep in mind, for the two-pointer and the three-pointer, pick two. You might have a chance. Which member is going to answer them? You have to answer those ones on your own. You cannot consult your teammate for help. Once you get to the five-pointer, you are allowed to collaborate. Because Above the Line is in a commanding eight-point lead, we're going to get your series of numbers first. Which do you like? Ten, two, and twelve. Good ten, two, and twelve. Okay. We need... Uh, no, they pick two. Like they win. Three numbers that are not ten, two, and twelve, Modoc. Eleven, three, and thirteen. Oh. Playing head games. Nice. Did, you just, right did you just IBM Hal? He just me? IBM Hal us on things. Oh, my God. He IBM Hal us, guys. That's not cool. <laughs> All right, right. all right. Ken Knapsack will be administering else. the questions to Modoc, and uh, they need to dig themselves out of a hole here, Ken. All right. The category will be Disney. Who will be answering this two-point question? What about Disney? He's going to answer the question. <laughs> Me. Gray Drake. Gray Drake will be answering <laughs> the question. She cannot confer with Matt Ashley. Your two-point question. What Disney animated movie features the Billy Joel song, Why Should I Vote? Oliver and Company. Oliver and Company. Wow, two points! Wow. Two points there. You know, JT8, like Billy Robert, Joel. He looks like any frazzled professor in any Disney movie I've ever seen. <laughs> right. All right. For your second question, which is a three-pointer, you chose the number three. That corresponds to the category of fantasy sci-fi, Matt. Name the corporation that manufactures replicants in Blade Runner. They do need to hit this, Ken. They do need to hit this. Matt yes. Does not get this phrase. And I, the, repeat the question, please. All right, using your first JT rule. Name the corporation that manufactures replicants in Blade Runner. We're talking about the first movie. Yeah. I want to say Wayland Yutani, and that's not it. It's uh, looking for a final answer. Here. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. I've lost it. No answer. So, with that, we have a winner by way of The Tyrell Corporation was what we were looking for. Tyrell Corporation is what we were looking for, and we were also in search of a really good game, and Modoc certainly gave that to above the line. Yeah. They were playing a little bit of catch-up right from the get-go, and I think that that really just, it became too deep of a well that they could not pull themselves out of, but a very game effort by Modoc. And above right. the line, I'd say, a worthy, perhaps, successor to the Patriots. We're going to see them play each other real soon. Like I said, it pays me to put them in that category, but uh, there could be a day of reckoning coming and this puts them on to face the Patriots here drew with a perfect first round I thought an uneven second round for the team but they didn't need it they coasted not coasted yeah they, they went into this victory uh, but uh, they needed that third round and that's what I was trying to say there but you know who can talk better Jen Sturger she's with the winners and losers what's up movie trivia Schmodown fans I'm Jen Sturger here with above the line and we're going to win 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 win, win 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 fantastic round round one and the golden arm Sam you were there Wow, Tell me, you guys got to be feeling really good about today's performance. Today was fun, and it was, and here's why it was fun because it, it, there were moments where they really started to put the heat on, and where we thought we knew stuff and didn't, and you know, it's it is very possible to walk in too confident, and uh, I'm glad that we had this match before we faced the Patriots because we know what we want.
You guys seemed pretty stoked when you hit the 80s in the second round. What? They weren't as easy as you guys thought they were going to be, were they? Uh, mm. let, let me field that. They were not as easy as we thought they were going to be. And Drew and I had talked about this earlier, and our strategy played perfectly, which was if we weren't 100% sure not to do multiple choice to give our opponents the mathematical advantage, and it worked every time in our favor. Hmm. Interesting strategy. Thank you very much. Speaking of facing the Patriots, yeah. you guys have any strategies going into this match? We do. Uh, I have thought win, long win, and hard win, about win, what win. we would do if we ever had to face the Patriots again. And three weeks ago, I watched Remember the Titans on an airplane. So there's no more gaps, guys. That's it. Hmm. There's no possible okay. way you can beat us a second time now. So uh, I feel pretty good about that. All right. Well, best of luck to you guys. Very excited for this match. Thank you, Jen. So are we. Oh, Modoc. Oh, great Scott. <laughs> Great. Ah. No, you know what? Mathematically, when you look at the score, it doesn't seem close. That was a very close game. Mm. Tell me, you guys have got to be kicking yourself on a few of those. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, our parents didn't get together at the dance. Uh, Biff stepped in. Oh. We're not even going to be born. It's it's a rough beat. Yeah, we're in a convertible. Holy yeah. crap! Yeah. This is this is so hard. It, it was like it, every hole in our knowledge was hit today. Yeah, we. It was a tough one. That's a Ooh. tough team to beat. They're great. Absolutely. And then you hit classics, and then you hit classics again. So there was no <laughs> avoiding classics today for you. But so you still funny. kept it respectable. How were you feeling going into that last round? Oh, it was uh, not great. I was yeah. like, oh, we're in trouble. This is like, it's I, weird. I, you know, I used the JTE rule, tried to give myself more time to think of Terrell. I just couldn't do it. Mm. Uh, yeah. That it yeah, it was hard. Frustrating. Frustrating. It's a tough mm. beat, but uh, I really, really want to see those guys take down the Patriots. I think we all yeah. do, right? Oh, it's way better than playing the Patriots. Ugh. It's way better oh, than losing to the Patriots. Absolutely. Patriots, boo. But what's boo. next for you guys? Uh, Kingsman. You know, We're going to play Kingsman. Yeah. we got to go back, exactly. way back. Exactly. Gotta before this match. Gotta break, out the, break out the little game, and, you know, it'll be good. Hit it hard, Marty. Exactly. Back to you guys. Well, I mean, look, you see a lot of chaos backstage. Let's talk about MODOK first, because MODOK, we haven't seen the last of them in the team league by any stretch of the imagination. We love not only their entrances, but Matt Atchity and Gray Drake, I think they complement each other better than they ever have before. It just yep. so happens they ran into a juggernaut with above the line. Juggernaut, choice of questions. That, uh, you know, no Jeff Goldblum pulls today, but I, I, I've been in round two. Yeah. I love watching Matt and Gray compete, and I hope they continue to do it. I hope they... Uh, Pull themselves together and kind of race for some championship contention. And above the line, they are a scary team. I mean, you could argue that Scott Curtis, our patron, felled Modoc as well as above the line because they got that tough spin of classics in round two. Meanwhile, above the line, spinning 80, certainly in their wheelhouse. Yeah, is great, beating great the job, pa Patreon sport. I mean, you get a cookie. Great you get a cookie. You have the Patriots. I hate them too, but they're on another level of greatness right now. Do you think above the line has the metal it takes to knock them off the he platform? Here is the key to our success in the Lions, Ben, if I may say. We never take anyone lightly. So we research, we study, we are ready for the battle. Is above the line going to bring it? You absolutely bet you they will bring it, but we'll be ready. Well, we would hope that everybody out there is ready for what? The free-for-all. It's going to be on April Yay! 13th is when it drops. It's a massive competition. It's going to be so much fun. More competitors, bigger, better. So many people. Be fan watch-alongs out there all over the world. Ken, listen to these cities that they already have set watch-alongs. Texas, New York, Chicago, Arizona, and the UK to find out where and when you can join all these watch-alongs and watch the free-for-all live on April 13th. Just join the movie trivia showdown Facebook group. The one for the Arizona meetup is going to be at a bar. No anchovies. It's a pizza and bar. Check that out. More info for that. Which will be sponsored by Late to the Party. You know, I'm not allowed we found to that out. In Flagstaff, Arizona. It's not there, right? Uh, it is okay. not there. We're if you're good. standing on a corner in Winslow, just hit your ride over to Tucson and enjoy the free-for-all. Maybe you'll see some of your favorite competitors go right there. And also check out the Schmodown Rundown on iTunes. Ken, I've plugged enough stuff here today. Where can the kids find you? Oh, you can find me uh, not in Flagstaff, Arizona, but Never at Ken Napsuck across all social media platforms. Make sure you guys check out the Schmodown Patreon. If you like Patreon, check out our office phase commentary. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this. And don't forget the free for all coming up real soon. We'll see you next time on the movie Trivia the Schmoda. Drew, I'll see you around, buddy. Oh, boy. I think you're going.
Where do you think you're going? You're just, you're just right here waiting for me? I, I was congratulating you on such a big win. Now we get to have a rematch. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this rematch. I've, uh, um, I've had a taste in my mouth for this rematch since the spectacular last year. I, I bet you have had that taste in your mouth. Yeah. I'm hungry for my own rematch, because you know what? JT and I, we got to prove that it wasn't a fluke beating you, you know, guys. Yeah, I, uh, I think I want to prove that it was. And uh, I already said this before, so I'll let you guys know. Uh, I have seen Remember the Titans, so whatever movies you guys felt like you're lacking in, now's the time to watch them, folks. I, I, JT and I don't really have any holes in our game. All I have to say is remember to write the answer down this time in the, in the third round, because, you know, we saw what happened with Roka. Obviously. Right, right, right. We all saw what happened with Roka. Yeah. And, uh, well, you, you, I'm sure you guys won't make that mistake. You'll make other mistakes. We'll make other but mistakes, but they won't cost us the match. I think uh, I think second time's the charm for me and Drew. So. All right, well, listen, congratulations. Go go celebrate. Enjoy the evening, Sam. Thank you, buddy. You enjoy that, that belt. Oh, I, I am. I actually have to go polish it. Excuse me. Right. I'm going to go polish mine. We need more belt polish. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Slowdown fans? Crank here, and it is time for your Schmo Down Breakdown. <laughs> and the winner! <laughs> Coming out of the first round, the big point of emphasis is Drew McLean. He has Again! Perfect first rounds, including the bonus. He's the only player in history across both divisions to accomplish the feat. And through 16 matches altogether, Drew has answered 46 of 51 questions correct in the first that round. That's lot. 90 lots and lots correct. and lots and lots. After the second round, Above the Line had an 8-point lead, and that helped carry them to their second TKO victory. They are off to face the Patriots for the title one more time. Going inside the numbers, we see Modoc didn't have their best game, answering just 50% of their questions. And as for Above the Line, it wasn't their best showing either, answering 73% of their questions. And that really says something about Above the Line when 73% is on the low end of their performances. If you want to find out all their stats from around the league, check out SD Rundown Stats on Twitter. And don't forget to check out the Schmodown Rundown every Already did. TV you better call in the outlaw. This has been your Schmodown Breakdown. Thank you, Frankie Stats Janish. Okay, um, that did not turn out to be as close as I was thinking it was going to be. Um, above the line, just whipped that ass. Whipped it good. Um, so, yeah, sadly, no Kingsman challenges. Uh, not really sure where we're going to go from here. Uh, only that we got above the line in the Patriots yet again. Uh, hopefully no Denzel Washington questions. Uh, screw them up this time. And, uh... Just hope that it's just as good as the first one, because if it is, it's going to be so much fun. So much fun. But yes, with that being said, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Like, comment, share, subscribe to my vids if you want to. Like, comment, share, subscribe to their videos, because it's the right thing to do. Uh, follow me on Twitter at WWEJTH1. Join their official uh, Twitter page now, at The Schmodown. Join the official Movie Trophy Spone on Facebook page, and if you can, of course, become a Patreon uh, supporter. It's a wonderful cause uh, and has some great uh, uh, profits and tears also. So, yeah, until next time, this is JTH saying thank you for watching, and until then, I bid you adieu.